just so lucky when you see what's going on in the newspapers and you see what's going on on TV and lots of other countries around the world. We, at times, had to stand up and be counted here. And it's the likes of Phil Stanton when we needed to stand up and be counted and go to war. And it was our fathers and, 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 and previous um, generations. We stand up and we count it. So we owe a debt to the people who were out there fighting for us. So please give a big, big thank you and a big round of applause for Phil Stanton. Do you think it's important to hold, hold events like this in the current climate of football? I mean, we're talking about people who served in World War One today, but yet we've got players who are on like wages of up to three hundred thousand pound a week. Do you think it's important that we do look back on that and see how the game's changed? I think I think it is important. I think you know you can learn an awful lot from history. If you have an awareness of history, it gives you um, an extra texture to your life. I think you know you're not living in a sort of a I don't know a disembodied bubble. You are actually aware of how the past has informed the future uh, or the present I should say and um, yeah I think it, it's quite um, humbling really to consider the uh, the life of footballers a hundred years ago which was tough and then of course they went to war which was also tough and for us in this privileged state that we live in um, you know, I think it's good for us. What we have here is one of the most special items on display in the National Football Museum. Donald Simpson Bell's Victoria Cross, which is on loan to us from the Professional Footballers Association. Uh, Lieutenant, uh, Second Lieutenant Donald Bell was an uh, officer in the Yorkshire Regiment during the First World War. Uh, and at the Battle of the Somme, he went out into no man's land to destroy an enemy machine gun position. And for that, he was awarded Britain's highest award for gallantry. I think it's important that we um, uh, that we keep carrying on create, um, raising awareness of our history and you know the people that went to war and in, especially for me my personal thing is, is is obviously football and the footballers battalions and it's wonderful because I do work in youth development uh, with the professional football in professional football so uh, to, to have the chance to speak to young people here about experiences it's it's really wonderful it's been um, really uh, everybody's been so welcoming yeah and do you think as football evolves it's something that still we should maintain and remember well I think so yeah because it's um, you know people gave gave up a lot not just in football but um, uh, in life in general you know so I think it's very important that we carry on uh, remembering whether we agree with things or we don't, but uh, the bottom line is a lot of people went, uh, got killed, and a lot of innocent people got killed, so why shouldn't we remember them? Do you think in modern day football it's something, it's important that we remember, like, the history of, of these kind of things, because we've got, like, the Christmas truce and stuff, what we remember from World War II? I think it's vitally important. I think we wouldn't have the freedoms that we do today if it wasn't for the the brave men and women that fought in the First World War and the Second World War. And I think the story of football in the First World War is just incredible, really. Until you actually start to unearth and read things about it, you don't realise how big and important it was. Not only for keeping up morale, but as you heard earlier, kicking a ball over the top of the trench to walk to, to your death, basically. If we were to have a war, would you expect the likes of these players to well, go into the army? Well, do you know what really kind of opened my eyes, made me think quite a lot, was the Powers Brigades. Yeah. So the fact that you and I, so who do you support? Port Vale. Port Vale. So you, on a Saturday, watching your team, and then one of your team goes to war, and then he says, join me in war. It's quite a, you know, hairs on the back of neck job. Harry yeah. Kane, just because he plays for Tottenham, doesn't necessarily mean that I'd want to stand side by side of him and, and take machine gun bullets. Yeah. So I think it was a different era. And as Paul Fletcher mentioned earlier, it was kind of a stand up and be counted, and there wasn't an option. So the footballers had to, they were young, fit men. Practically, in the end, whether you're a footballer and rich or a footballer from 100 years ago and, you know, earning just a few quid a week, um, we're all human beings. And I think irrespective of your job and irrespective of your status as a human being, you respond as a human being to whatever you're asked to respond to.